Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask with me, Josh. Okay, so guys, um, in this episode we are going to go on a hunt for heart pieces. Um, yeah, we're going to hunt them all down. There's loads in this game. I want to, because obviously I'm going to 100% this Let's Play. I want to do, not just complete the game, but just I want to I want to get everything. I want to 100% it. Um, you know, if you're going to do something, why not do it right? So, yeah, I'm going to 100% it. Um, so, I do believe there is one around here. There is a... When we were looking through that telescope over there before, uh, there was a guy standing around here somewhere, and basically he was marking a spot where there's a hole. Oh, there it is! Gosh, that scared me now. I didn't expect to find it so fast. Oh, no, this isn't the right one anyway. Oh, never mind. Uh, well, let's just get whatever this is. Probably rupees or something. Da -da -da. 20 rupees. Fair enough. No, that wasn't the one I was thinking of. Um... There is one somewhere, though, in this field, in this uh, grassy area, um, that uh, has a heart piece in it. So I'll just... I'll, I guess I'll have to just keep going around in circles. It's easier on the 3DS version because uh, the, the, this grass stuff you can move around in, you can actually see through it a little bit. Oh, it's a chest randomly there. That's cool. Da -da -da. Oh, 20 more rupees. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so, I should stumble across it. I don't, I wonder if it's over here, actually, I don't know. I definitely know it's somewhere around here. Oh, we need to get, I wonder what's in there. I bet you, I wonder if that's a heart piece. I don't know where all the heart pieces are. I'm going to have to look up a guide to, you know, because I can't remember where they all are. But the, I'm going to do the ones for now that I remember, the ones that I know. Oh, man, it's going to be a lot of trial and error running around. I, there's definitely I might... Oh, oh what's this? Random, I don't think this is the one, but it's a, it's a hole, so I'm going to check it out. Oh, Gossip Zones. Um, we don't have the uh, Mask of True. Is that a... That's not a Golden Sculptor, is it? Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. What? You're a jerk. You know that? You're a dead jerk, that's for sure. Hello. Yeah. Ow. No, he doesn't give me anything. Yeah, when you hit those things, they tell you the, tell you how much time's remaining. In Ocarina of Time, they told you what the time was, but in this one, they tell you what time remaining. But if you use the Mask of Truth, they actually give you hints and speak to you and stuff. Right, I think it's around here. I'm sure it is. Oh, butterflies. That's a good indication. Oh, there we go. Yes, I'm sure this is it. And there's a giant thingy in. Yes, this is it. And we get a piece of heart, I'm pretty sure. Right, these guys are lethal. Ugh. you got to be really be careful here. These guys can really screw you over. Yeah. Yeah. Die, you son of a gun. Almost there. That's not that hard, I suppose. It's just if they get their blades on you, it's very bad. Yay, kaboom. Here we go, guys. The easiest piece of heart you'll ever get. Well, probably, no, it's not the easiest. The easiest one was the, in the tree in Clocktown. Uh, but that's pretty easy, though, considering I just had to kill one thing. There's some there's mini games you do, which you've got to do like a different mini game every day, and they'll give you a piece of heart after, and they're really difficult. <laughs> Heck yeah. Cool. How, how many have we got right now? Oh, sweet. So two more, and then I've. Nice, man. I haven't even finished the first. Or I haven't even started the first temple yet, and I've almost got five hearts. By the time we start the first temple, I'm going to be so OP. No enemy's going to want to mess with me. Right, the next one is this way, I believe. Uh, I th yeah, I think it's on the this mountainside area. Down below. So we might have to go down this way, actually. Oh no, let's go, let's go across this way first, because I don't want to get destroyed by those things in the sand. Uh, but it's just down here, I do believe. And there should be a hole somewhere. Right, so there should be a hole around, around here, if I'm not mistaken. And we've got a little dodongo. Oh, there it is. And then in here, you just got to kill... Like I just did in that other one. I've just got to kill these guys. And I get a piece of heart. Damn, these guys are huge. Were they really that big? I don't think they're that big in Ocarina of Time. Oh, gosh. 
<laughs> die, dude, die. Die. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Ugh! Um, wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't think that through. Um, no wonder it gives you a piece of heart. Um, crap. Well, I'm going to go get some health and I'm going to reevaluate um, how I do that because <laughs> I know they take me out of that. Well, they're quite huge, aren't they, those guys? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. So there's one heart. So this is why we need pieces of heart because I die very easily, very quickly. I keep forgetting. Oh, there we go. I keep forgetting actually because I've been playing uh, Twilight Princess recently on my Wii U. Twilight Princess HD. Oh, there's a hole there as well. That's cool. Uh, and that's that. That was the first Zelda game where you could run and slash. But before, like in these games, you had to run, and when when you hit slash, you stop. Like, it's really annoying. Um. Okay. Right. Let's go. Let's go defeat these guys. Of course, I'll have to defeat them again because. It will have respawned them, so all the damage I did wouldn't have meant anything. Then again, the damage I did to me didn't mean anything because I'm a, I've got full hearts again now. Uh, oh, but I did Okay, this is going to be tough, man. No, don't. I want to get past you, dude. I want to... Oh, balls! Oh, balls! Oh, gosh. Wow, this is hard. Do I have any... anything? Oh, man. This is really hard. I don't have any kind of projectile weapons. I've got the bunny hood and everything. So I can... Oh, damn, man. Um, I don't know what to do. They're, they're wasting me, these guys. There's no, like... Bombs! Yes, bombs will kill them. Bombs. Let's go buy some bombs. Let me just get my health back first. There we go. And bam. And give me the hearts. Give me the hearts. Please give me the hearts. Oh, I got some bombs. Oh, I got hearts and bombs. Fair enough. I don't even have to buy any. Uh, okay. Cool. Let's go uh, take them out again. Stupid Dodongos. Always Dodonging around. Uh, okay, no messing around now. These guys are going downtown, baby. Down the freaking town. Hey, babes, you want to go downtown? I bet you do. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Apart from when they blow fire at me. Just take one at a time, nice and slowly. So instead he wins a race. Oh! oh, gosh. It's like the King Dodongo battle in Ocarina of Time all over again. But at a slightly smaller scale. Wow, look how many bombs he's taking. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get a whole ton of bombs. Okay, that's one down. They detonate like a bomb. It's really weird. <gasps> Big rupee. I can't remember how much that is, but it's going to fill my rupee meter. There you go, buddy. Boom. Boom. So we have to take him out with the sword to end this. Ugh. Die, 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 die. Come on, come on. Woo, that was close. Oh my gosh. He would have killed me then. Okay. And we get rupees that we can't take. What I need to do actually is I need to go to the bank and I need to... Oh, damn it. I can't pick up the rupee. There's no, not even any point. All right, here's a piece of heart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to town, deposit all these rupees, and then get that 100 rupees that I can get easily and deposit that. Because we really need the adult's wallet. There we go. I just need one more piece of heart now, guys. Okay, right. Back to Clock Town. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and that gives you... By the way, you get free rupees if you do that little song there on the wall. Which is pretty cool. But as you can see, I don't need any more rupees. I've got more rupees than I'll ever need ever in my life. But it's all good. Okay, clock town. I mean, we're in clock town. I mean, bank. This way. Oh. 
I was doing the notes there that it plays on the, the third day, where it's like really eerie music. Hello! Deposit. Cool. I'm going to deposit 9-9. Nine, nine. There you go. Is that... Oh, yeah, I've saved 200. Can you give me a wallet? <gasps> yes! Awesome. Okay, we can hold 200 rupees now. Cool. Sweet. I'm happy with that. There's three wallets in this game, I think. There's that, the original one, this one, and then there's one more that holds up to 500 or something like that. Uh, right, what next? What next? I might as well get that 100 rupees just because I can. Then, um, yeah, let's go get the 100 rupees. Then more heart pieces. We shall get more. I think to get some of them, though, that we've got some mini games to do, guys. Um, well, that would, there's a Deku Scrub one that's really annoying. Oh my gosh, there's a Deku Scrub mini game where you get a piece of heart. Um, where you have to uh, basically... Remember a couple episodes ago when I was really annoyed and I kept like falling off that thing? Well, it's basically like that, but ten times harder. So that will be fun. So much fun. Da 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 da. Yay! Awesomeness. Cool, guys. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Majora's Mask video. Peace out.